haven't seen them in a while. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still here in the Everglades. Nice windy day still, and I'm using a pilchard, otherwise known as a scaled sardine, what we like to call snook candy. You say you think you got one hanging out over there? This log right here goes from right to left about 20 or 30 feet. Great spot to catch a big snook. Let's see if we got one living there. Good cast. Right on it. I got something messing with it now. There he is. Good fish. That's a good snook right there. You got a lot of logs over there, Blair. We need to get up there? Yes. <clears throat> nope, maybe not. Okay. Here he comes. <clears throat> Coming at you? Yeah. Just walking him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know either. Big redfish, maybe? I don't know. Nice snook. Nice snook. Snooky, baby. Oh, that's a good one there, brother. He's going to keep coming. That's a big snook. Nice snook. Especially for this 7-2. <laughs> with that excess on there, right? What pound braid do you have on there, player? Uh, 15. There's a log over there, so be careful. It's right there. Oh, I see him. Hey, you went around it. Yeah, that's a grown one there, brother. Nice fish. Uh, he might have been here before, huh? What's that? This snook. I think he's been living here. He knows where that log is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, that's, that's probably my biggest snook since 2010. Really? Since the freeze, because we really haven't targeted him. I got you. I didn't want to target any snook for at least five years. You know, I felt the same way the first couple years after that freeze. I didn't even try to fish for him. Oh, that's a pretty one. He's you barely hooked, him? too. You want to get him? Grab him. OK. Yeah, what you doing? Easy now. <laughs> easy, buddy. Easy, 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 easy. That is what you come to the Everglades oh, for I right there. Oh, I can get there. my finger in his gills. There we go. Ah, shit. How about that? That is a pretty one. That is a real pretty one. You want to grab that circle out? I sure can. Yeah, circle hooks for snook. Had so many people, you can't use circle hooks for snook. I don't know, it looked like it worked pretty good to me. It caught that one, didn't it? Yes, sir. It was in there, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh -oh, somebody's got your snook go. spot now. Uh, they don't have to see anything. I'm holding it down. Don't see it. We're going to get this guy in the water so this guy don't see. There's a beautiful snook right there from the Everglades. Don't worry about it. Look at that fish. Just show it to him. Wow. That's a pretty one. Let me see him. Yeah, let me get him in the water just a sec. Oh, look at that. Rabalo, line cider, snook, snook, whatever you want to call them, they are a beautiful fish. I call them Labrador snook, <laughs> especially when they get that big. <sighs> One beautiful fish. He made it through the 2010 freeze. Yes, he did. Or should I say she did? That's funny how they just hang on to your thumb until they're ready and then they just <laughs> open up and let go. Get rid of some of that lactic acid that builds up while you fight them. Get on out of here. Nice fish. A beauty. Brian, that's what people come to the Everglades for, brother. Always a pleasure. Y'all ever want to do it, you got to look him up and come do this. He's been fishing here how long? 17 years. 17, guiding. Guiding. 17. Yeah, I but you been here. grew up fishing here. One good guide to come with. What do you say we go uh, re rig and get one of them tarpon? Sounds good. We got some tarpon rolling here behind us. We're gonna to try to show you one of those. We're gonna get re-rigged. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with Captain Brian Sanders in the beautiful Everglades on a windy day. Good job, man. Good fish. <laughs>